Sporting Canada and Merck Cruiser are proud to present this spine-tingling footage from three of North America's most spectacular waterfront extravaganzas. thousand horsepower throttling together. The start is the biggest rush. What do you guys think of the poker race? Right ah! A woman's work is never yeah. done. Yeah. 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 The, the finishing is more important than actual top speed. Yeah. Top speed's good for bragging rights. Well, you asked about secrets, and this is kind of a classified concoction we could tell you, but then we'd have to kill you. I was getting lots of air. It's an awesome boat. A poker run is a game of chance. Power Boating Canada, Merc Cruiser Poker Runs are played out over five games. Each dealt on a new body of water with their winners taking home the spoils. And the grand champion taking home a cool $5,000 courtesy of Graham Neal Insurance. And an $11,000 tool chest courtesy of Snap-on Tools Canada. Power Boating Canada Merc Cruiser Poker Runs are dealt over Lake Ontario, Lake Huron, Georgian Bay, Montreal, and the grand finale is dealt and played out at the Thousand Islands. The vast number of Poker Run participants called for three individual starts. Only the roar from a squadron of F-14 Tomcats during a low flyby pass could have competed with the roar of these offshore fire-breathing powerboats, the Maseratis and Lamborghinis of the water. This year, over 80,000 spectators lined the shores to catch a glimpse of these exotic waterbred steeds, churning and turning these Canadian waters into a boiling frenzy of hot water. highlights from three or five events designed to introduce you to the power and excitement of the world's most demanding motorsport. It's all about dragging right. Speed, power, this is what really counts. The racing has nothing to do with it. It's whoever makes the most amount of noise in the harbor, they win for sure. You can enter the world of offshore for about $60,000, but the price tag for one of these waterbed stallions is much more likely to run your bank account to a cool half million bucks. If you want to play, you got to pay. But don't fret yet. Money is only half of the equation. You must match the boat design that best suits the water conditions in which you'll be running. The deep V is the ideal hull for rough, choppy water. A straight V-shape with its strakes and chimes allow the boat to cut through rough water at maximum speed. Shorter V-hulls measuring from 26 feet to 38 feet in length catch their best air and achieve greater speeds in waves measuring 2 to 3 feet. Deep V-hulls, 38 feet and longer, need 3 to 5 feet waves to achieve speeds in excess of 100 miles per hour. A catamaran hull, on the other hand, allows a faster run on calmer water. This is achieved by the hull's unique design. The total design creates lift similar to that of an airplane's wing and serves to minimize drag. In other words, the deep V hull surgically knifes through the water and the catamaran soars across the water surface. Poker is a game of chance. It is not a race. It's where the various motors traverse the waters from port to port, 
We pick up a card in the sealed envelope, and at the end of the day, the highest hand wins. It's not a race. Why are they going so fast? Why are they going so fast? <laughs> because once you let loose 80 boats out there, and those males let those hormones loose, <laughs> it is unbelievable. It becomes a race, but it's not a race. The Georgian Bay Poker Run was a fever-pitched weekend affair. While surrounded by hundreds of spectator boats, these high-octane breathing machines drew thousands of onlookers down to all the action at Penetanguishene's public wharf. Any uh, shots? No, we're doing. They're setting one. Because I love boating, and these are the greatest boats around. They really are. Pretty flashy boats, you know. It'd be nice to be able to take a rip in one of these. The sound, the excitement of all the people. It's, uh, a lot of energy in the air. I just came down to hear the snarl of all the boats starting up at the same time and hear them take off. Should be good. Start is an absolute rush. You get 40 boats out there together, 50 boats out there together, the pace boat takes them out, and then everybody hits the throttles together, and you just hear that horsepower, just so many thousand, 50,000 horsepower, and we just churn the water up into a boiling frenzy. Poker runs have been growing in popularity with each passing year. And this season, the media was out in full force to witness the performance pack weekend. The new VR network was on hand and put together a special half-hour program which was aired throughout the months of August and September. This being the television crew's first time aboard an offshore powerboat, they chose to stick with a classic, Art and Laurel Reen's 38-foot cigarette boondoggle. Just one of the several pace boats for this event. Here's a tow from a successful trip to Michigan, member, the, the navigator, co-pilot, and this 38-foot cigarette top gun, which is one of the original eight V hulls for an offshore. It's a way of life. <laughs> you, can, you can ask my wife. You spend definitely much more time shining than you do driving. Well, basically, it's a 24-degree dead rise, which is basically the, the stern of the boat, the angle of the stern of the boat, and what that does is it allows a very soft ride in rough waters where other types of hulls like catamarans and tri hulls are more efficient for speed but don't really handle the rough water and it's not quite as stable. I like riding really hard in like five or six foot waves. Well, thank God it's a family sport, boy. We all love it. Kids since they've been babies have been on the boat. So we keep car seats on the boat. Kids stay locked in the car seat for safety, and then we go right into a boating jacket as soon as they get out of the car seat, and they love it. They scream faster. Faster, faster. They want to go faster. So here's a big question. These kids, everybody asks, how are they ever going to have fun doing anything when they grow up? <laughs> Unfortunately, that's going to be a big problem. It's like the greatest roller coaster ride on Earth. Because you get the thrill of the speed leaving the water at, you know, very fast. Plus you have this awesome third dimension of 1,100 horsepower, the sound, the wind, it's amazing. And then and basically six tons of fiberglass wrapped around it. So it, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's kind of a male thing, testosterone. <laughs> Mind blowing. The, the, the whole level of uh, testosterone in Georgian Bay has gone up about five notches this weekend, I'm sure. I'm really 97 years old, and I've been doing this long enough. It just blows your face to the back. You cut it off like a ponytail. Uh, you're forever young. Save it on plastic surgeons. They hate these things. At one of Power Boating Canada Merc Cruiser poker runs, not only do we test your brawn, but your navigational skills as well. Only Mother Nature's expansive mic could bring this thundering pack down to a crawl. Beckworth Island, off to our uh, right. I don't have a clue. Did you look at 
the camera and say that. <laughs> Getting just a little foggy out here. How do we know where we're going? Well, we're going to rely on this little piece of electronic equipment called GPS, which is a global positioning system, which uh, triangulates uh, from like several satellites to tell us where we are and hopefully guide us to the, where we want to be going. I hear you fine, but I can't hear Graham. Well, I can hear you, but I can't see you. Yeah. <laughs> so are we lost? No. We're just not going as fast as we want to go. With a quick check of the charts, it wasn't long before the Ferentino brothers were back on the warpath. We always do a lot of things together, work together, play together. That's what we'll do today out there. My brother's uh, load is right behind us here. It's uh, same model, 41 Apache, with uh, twin 850 horsepower engine. Now I understand that you and your brother got the exact same boat because neither of you can stand to be ahead of each other, is that right? Oh, actually it's a compliment to each other. We uh, both enjoy boating and uh, this is, in our opinion, the best boat to have. It's very well made and uh, they're, they're built for the rough water. They run really, really great in rough water. So there's no competition between you and your brother? Oh, of course there is. It's an interesting scenario. Um, Tony and I, of course, uh, try and keep the brotherly love going and the competition we keep real low and try not to let our egos get involved but uh, as rumor has it he's going to try and, and I give him all the credit in the world to try but that'll be about it he'll try. He's a great brother he is the uh, older brother so uh, if he wants to follow me around a little bit today that's great. Without incident, all poker runners arrived safely at Owen Sound. Although the fog made for a dismal start, nothing would dampen the spirits of this determined 40 boat troop. With cards in hand, this motley crew made way for Meaford. 40 multi engined high horsepower boats at full throttle quickly plant smiles on the faces of these high torqued adrenaline junkies. Along the way to Meaford, we caught up with the crew of this 35 foot fountain, better known on these waters as Disposer. This, this uh, 35 Fountain is equipped with uh, twin 500 HPs, Merc Cruisers, uh, putting out a thousand horsepower total. I think it's great. I think everyone, women, should be out here trying to do it. Um, I think if they all go and take a course and get someone that can teach them how to drive a boat, that it'd be terrific to have more women out here. Running fast on the water is, it, it's, it's addicting and it's, it's I guess, it, the best way to describe it is it's almost better than sex. Touch wood, I've been fairly lucky. The boat has run really well. How do you keep your hair perfect? The touch. The high-performance players pulling into Meaford offered thousands of onlookers a spectacular sight. What would it cost to fill this club? Four and drive. Four hundred and fifty dollars. Costs about six hundred dollars to fill it up. It'll be five hundred bucks for the day. Oops! There goes the mortgage. Welcome to Power Quest Hotel. Hey, 
TV VCR. Right? There Stand up head. Microwave. Sink. Bed. Beaver. Yes. We're the only boat here that has air conditioning. <laughs> so, why did you choose this boat? What makes this boat better than any other boat? Well, as far as I know, this is the only boat in Ontario that goes 80 miles an hour and has air conditioning on board. Now this is a ride. 50,000 horsepower with Mr. Big leading the pack. Power Boating Canada magazine has the biggest boat in this poker run. This is 43 feet long, triple 525 horsepower supercharged engine that just whine and scream over 4,000 RPM. It's a rush. So a large boat like this, uh, calm water slows it down. It just sticks in the water. You can feel it sticking. We don't have enough air under it. But however, if it were to get rough out there in the middle of the bay, if we were to get some nice two to four footers out there, this boat will just absolutely walk away from anything else out there. Speaking of big, this 42-foot fountain is getting its inaugural launch today. Its owner, Poker Run Hall of Famer Barry Humphrey, couldn't resist buying a few more miles per hour. Well, mile per hour, I just, is just that uh, you just like to go as fast as you can, okay? And uh, and I I don't like being second or third in life, so I, that's why I. Uh, put in three of them. I thought maybe I might be able to get ahead a little bit, but I didn't, it didn't work out that way. What's the difference between a double and a triple? Uh, engines? Yeah. Oh, just uh, get more horsepower. You get 1,800 horses running under there. Sounds like you have a bad case of that disease. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> not really, not really. No. Beachgoers were treated to more than just fun in the sun, as poker runners staged a parade of unmatchable brute power and size. This is a 34-foot Scarab made by Wellcraft, uh, 92 signature edition by Emerson Fittipaldi, 502 block, 465 horse, stock power. Next stop, Midland. So who really is the fastest, you ask? How can we separate fact from fiction? That's why we have the radar run. Well, I'm Andrew Martin, and this is my boat. Uh, it's manufactured by Talon, so today everybody seems to have names on their boat. So uh, this one we're just calling Talon today. Well, this one is powered by uh, twin uh, EFI offshore Mercury's. They're making about 260 horsepower apiece. They're stock motors the way they are. And this boat uh, would normally run over 100 mile an hour. Its best ever is 108.4, but maybe today we can expect to see maybe 103 or four in that neighborhood. Well, it's just a rush. Uh, some of my friends here on the dock with us here today, they've been out for rides in it, and really there's nothing that you're going to go that speed on water with other than a boat like this. This is a very, very fast boat. The 
radaring of the poker run is really the difference between uh, bragging rights and reality because a lot of the guys have speedometers that are calibrated by the sales department and the radar gun really tells it like it is. run everybody about two times because they always have an excuse why they didn't do so well the first time through so that second time through they can uh, correct all their mistakes for the first time. Our camera crew were able to bring you this bird's eye view from the driver's seat of the very fast cardiac arrest. and the speed, the power, and it's something that most people can't afford to do, and they like to watch somebody else do it. I want one when I'm older. I think I'm going to get one. Is there a little boat envy here? Yeah, there's <laughs> a little bit of boat envy. <laughs> Money envy. <laughs> yeah, they're great. They're off.
Minute Anguishing. The last card is drawn for the Georgian Day Poker Run. Bragging rights. Two pair, aces over fives. Best hand and the fastest boat. Andrew Martin, how do you feel about your first poker run? Oh, just fantastic. I couldn't have imagined anything better. That's just the greatest. Huh? At Wellcraft, racing helps define our philosophy. We've won five World Offshore Championships and hold records for the world's fastest V-Hull designs. The lessons we learn give you unmatched performance, safety, and quality in every Wellcraft we make. So no matter what kind of new boat you're looking for, remember this simple lesson. You can't expect to find world-class boats without world-class performance. for the best poker hand of the day. Seductive and powerful, the St. Lawrence River surrounds us, confronts us. The awesome might that the St. Lawrence possesses provides an irresistible challenge, an ever-changing force that pushes man and machine to their limits. As thunderous machines collide with the water, crews and their crafts are propelled skyward only to re-enter into the grasp of the unforgiving waters. Offshore powerboating, one of the world's most dramatic and demanding motorsports. Courageous men, women, and their machines take up the challenge in the pursuit of victory. Marina de Sorel in Sorel, where we were greeted by nearly a thousand spectators, provided an excellent locale for a brief layover between flights. With second card in hand, this eager horde blasted onward, determined to build the unbeatable hand. Poker Run Hall of Famer, Barry Humphrey. Barry began his poker run career with a 32-foot pachanga, the original attitude adjustment. In his quest for speed, the second attitude adjustment came in the form of a 35-foot fountain powered by twin 400-horsepower Mercuries performing at a respectable 70 miles per hour. Not satisfied, the power plants were replaced by twin 550-horsepower Mercuries to bring the performance level up to a modest 85 miles per hour. The latest in a series of adjustments resulted in a brand new 42-foot fountain powered by triple 600-horsepower Mercuries. Since the turn of the century, men have taken to the water to race one another in power boats. Over the years, the sport of offshore power boating has evolved into one of the most grueling tests of technology and of the men and women involved. Today, poker runs have enabled the novice would-be racer to experience these challenges without exposing themselves to the full threat of danger. Running through various water conditions makes for a great playing field. Running close to shore, the thousands of spectators both on land and anchored boats are treated to the finest high-performance marine action found anywhere. from Buceras, Ohio is Team Baja with Marketing Vice President Dave Taylor. On board their brand new 32-foot outlaw, powered with twin Merc Cruiser 525 horsepower supercharged engines with Bravo Outdrive. In 
flag formation, a parade of horsepower, fiberglass, and steel made its way past Trois-Rivières' core area, where thousands of spectators gathered by the shoreline. With possession of car three, this 50-strong fleet mingled offshore, patiently awaiting the signal. They're off, c'est de pas. Our Le Mans-style start saw the fleet roar away. Soon the drivers were skimming the waves of the mighty St. Lawrence, en route for Marina des Îles and car four. In calm waters, some of these high-octane-powered erotic beasts attain top speeds in excess of 100 miles per hour. Poker runs take participants out into the unpredictable waters. It's here that crews in the cockpit must endure pounding comparable to that of a boxer or a demolition derby driver. for the idea of an all-girls team? Well, we all kind of came up with it ourselves because we always go out in the boat together and uh, and we just had fun and we were, on the last poker run, we decided right before the first one we did, we are like, why don't us all-girls just do it? And well, it's like, yeah, that's a great idea. So we just started from there. We are the first all-woman crew, you know, um, so that excites me right there, you know, and, and uh, I don't know, just to get, you know, I want to see more women out there, so if it's possible that, you know, if what I'm doing here is going to make a change, I'd love it. Treat us pretty well. I think a lot of them are surprised. They're like, well, oh, there they go. Wow. And they're going, yeah. I mean, a lot of guys are really, um, you think it'd be a problem with it because, oh, a girl beat us. But no, a lot of guys are coming up and saying, great job. It's great. I love it. All the women are coming up to us. They're like, all right, ladies, go, you know. I mean. Ladies are coming up to us saying, we followed you all the way through it. And we even had uh, kids coming up asking for her autographs. <laughs> well, it's a 38 uh, Wellcraft Scarab. Um, it has 572 Chevys, um, 1071 blowers. It's about 900 horsepower. Runs about 10 pounds boost on uh, aviation fuel. Um, I can get it probably about 90 oh, okay. on good days. You know, I can yeah. run it about 90. Hall of Famer Tony Ferrentino. Tony started coming to poker runs with a 35-foot formula fitted with twin 420 horsepower Mercury's. He soon traded up to a 41-foot Apache, originally powered by a pair of C&G 700 horsepower engines. Tony totally refurbished this warrior with a pair of custom 850 horsepower Richie Zool power plants 
accompanied by Apache graphics in purple and gray, named the Ultimate Warrior. Power boating is a passion he shares with Big Brother Mike, who owns Sister Boat War Dancer. A friendly rivalry exists here as to who has the fastest canoe. Marina de Zille, a historic part of Sorel, where poker runners were treated to more food and entertainment for the stopover. Poker Run Hall of Famer Chris Reiterbach. Chris owns several pieces of offshore real estate. He traded his soul for speed in the form of Hot Dam, a red and gray piece of waterfront property whose power has been renovated with custom supercharged small block Chevys. This is just one from a stable of ponies. This old, reliable performer serves as his ace in the hole when his 30-foot cobalt, aptly named Murphy's Law, cannot make the draw. Chris's love of speed spills over from power boats to exotic cars. The Marina de Vieux Port de Montreal is a refurbished port located in the core of old Montreal. This combination of old and new serves pleasure boaters, tourists, and poker runners with great finesse. At Moore Cruiser, we build winners. That's why most builders rely on us to make their boats perform because the best hull performs better with the right power and the right stern drive to match. So when a new boat is in your plans or you need to repower, go with the winner, Mer Cruiser, the only logical choice. At Wellcraft, racing helps define our philosophy. We've won five World Offshore Championships and hold records for the world's fastest V-Hull designs. The lessons we learn give you unmatched performance, safety, and quality in every Wellcraft we make. So no matter what kind of new boat you're looking for, remember this simple lesson. You can't expect to find world-class boats without world-class performance. An exotic arsenal of power converged on the town of Gananoque, gateway to the Thousand Islands. 
Once more, the call of the mighty St. Lawrence challenged these high-performance players to take a ride on the wild side. This season finale would be the biggest and best yet. For the first time, due to sheer numbers, we were to have three starts. Wave after wave of exotic high-performance fiberglass and steel followed en route to the first card stop at Brockville. Here once again, creating the most excitement of the summer is the legendary Reggie Fountain, the man who has won almost every World Offshore class and who put his name on one of the most famous brand of offshore powerboats. Teaming up with Reggie is Melanie Taylor of Power Boating Canada Magazine and in Contempt's owner Pat Pigtail of New Jersey. This is the same hall that won the world's kilo record, better known as Ohio Steel. Works out that Reggie is developing a new line of high-performance motor yachts. Just imagine the sound of over 125 offshore power boats slowing to an idle as they pass through the no-wake zone, just waiting in anticipation to unleash the power and excitement that is the world of offshore. Throughout the poker run, crews must put all of their know-how to use as they challenge the variety of changing conditions. The boats that carry their crews during these exhibitions of brute power are all multi-engine, high-performance watercraft. The goal here is to keep the machine together long enough to collect all five playing cards. Poker Run Hall of Famer Bob McCoy. The real McCoy began his poker run career with a 32-foot Baja equipped without boards. After a day of pounding rocks at the quarry, Bob enjoys pounding the waves in his new 39-foot Sutman. Concrete evidence of this was the appearance of his second 39-foot Sutman, powered by twin inboards instead of his trademark triple or quad mixers. Poker Run Hall of Famer Ted Meach. A 30-foot formula named Muskrat, powered by twin 330 horsepower engines, launched Ted on his Poker Run path to the Hall of Fame. Last year, Ted decided to add some frantic fever to his life in the form of a 38-foot fountain, powered by twin 800 horsepower big block Chevys. Now, Ted just floors the competition. Historic Brunkville, the eastern terminus of the Thousand Islands, offered onlookers a perfect blend of old and new. Crowds overflowed the Blockhouse Island berm where our 125-strong performance pack lined up along the waterfront. Power Boating Canada magazine would like to take this moment to thank the sponsors who helped to make this video scrapbook possible. Wellcraft, Graham Neal Insurance, Merc Cruiser, Hustler, Winds, Hutchison's Boatworks, Holland Street, Alexandria Bay, New York, 315-482-9931, your Velocity Power Boats dealer in the Thousand Islands. Boathouse Performance Center, dealer for Sonic, Active Thunderboats, Spectre, 1-800-448-2628. Aquamania, Thousand Islands, Alexandria Bay, New York, authorized dealer for Donzai and Hustler Power Boats, plus Mercury Outboards, stops were history in the making for poker runs as participants headed for Clayton, New York and Alexandria Bay for cards two and three. This would be the first international poker run for the record books. 
The glamour and excitement that is offshore racing has over the years developed a need for speed ideology and drawn a number of weekend warriors into the sport looking for the kind of challenge that only running at full throttle on the open waters can provide. Poker runs are the nucleus of a new breed of power voter. It is here that courage is molded and skills are honed. Here we catch Joe Horisk and his 43-foot well-craft scarab, Smokin' Joe. For the second year, this living legend has made the trek up from Delaware, Maryland to enjoy a friendly hand of poker. Here in a rare Kodak moment, Smokin' Joe flies in tight formation with the Wellcraft number no. 5 race boat. The number no. 5 race boat is the very boat that won several world championship offshore races with famous racers aboard, including television's Don Johnson, Gus Anastasi, and Bill Soroy. This boat and its team made the trip up from Sarasota, Florida with Wellcraft Steve Simon and Donnie Waddick. With arms raised, they signal to other poker runners that they have reached the next stop of Clayton, New York, home to the world famous Clayton Antique Boat Museum. Hold on, yells Joe to his colleague, Gordon Hauser, Vice President Marketing of Wellcraft Scarab, who spent many of his college days working as a tour guide for Uncle Sam's Thousand Island Tour Cruiser. A sea of muscle flexing, loudly roaring powerboats descending upon Alexandria Bay was a sight nothing short of spectacular. With lunch firmly in mind and card number three securely in hand, the hammers were dropped again and the St. Lawrence was once more surrendering unwillingly beneath the gleaming hulls of these water titans heading stolidly for Prescott. Prescott and Card 4. Most of the two cases of bottled water supplied to each poker runner by Culligan had long been consumed, and fatigue had started to set in. Eager to return to home port, this exotic arsenal of high-performance hardware mingled just offshore of the docks, awaiting for the pace boats to hoist their flags, signaling the final start of Power Boating Canada Magazine Merc Cruiser Season Closer. Given the signal, our poker run fleet roared off at full throttle, headed for Gananoque. Poker Run Hall of Famer, Sam May. Sam's quest for transportation has varied over the years as his obsession for a fast boat and thrills have brought him from a 24-foot maximum to a 34-foot Wellcraft, and now to this new heart stopper, a 38-foot fountain powered by twin Donovan Saar racing blocks that propels him into the 90-mile-per-hour zone. The sights and sounds of offshore power loading are in many ways similar to other forms of high-profile motorsports. But here, there is a difference. Nowhere else can the fans feel the power and view the awesome size that goes along with these giant water-going machines.
High Red Stallion stampeded for home. Thousands of fans gathered in the August heat to witness the grand finale. The distant throng of over 100,000 horsepower rose to a thundering crescendo as the boats appeared from behind the last island, with the Mercury Marine helicopter whirring overhead, leading the pack. For a closer look at these machines, fans filled the wet pits as the players quickly powered their boats into their berths for a quick once-over before the boat show begins. Boating Canada Merc Crew, home of the largest poker runs in North America, and the proof is in the pudding. Or should we say the water? Remember, folks, this is not a race. Speed has nothing to do with the outcome of this event. The best hand wins. But when you've got this much horsepower, wrapped in over 360 tons of fiberglass and steel, those hormones break loose and anything goes. 